Welcome to Overlord Toy Reviews, now in Technicolor. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's Overlord here with a retro review for you. We got the Playmates Skeleton Warriors Baron Dark from 19... And something. 96? 95? I think it's 95 something. Something, something. This is a retro toy review. A new thingy I'm gonna be doing because everybody is doing the retro stuff. So deal with it! I am Shockwave and I approve this message. Okay. So, do I have the accessories for this figure? Yes, do I have the other sort of accessory for this figure? No, I lost it because I'm stupid. So, on with the review. Let's get it out of the way. Articulation. He's got crap. He has a swivel in the head that doesn't really work. And that pops off. Don't worry. It goes back on with a little titty titty pig. I had his chin holding that. So you might not want to move his head a lot. Ah. I think I got it back on now. So his head, his little head will move a little bit. There. I got that, I got that back on. It snapped this time. He's got a little bit of shoulder movement. And then he's got a little bit of waist movement. And then he's got some in the hips, but he's in the cursed battle pose. That is common with the Ninja Turtles from the 2000X series. And with most Playmates toys. And this thingy moves. The little screaming soul guy on his chest. So, how freaking scary is that? Um, yeah. What now? And he comes with a purple gun. A purple axe. And a projectile launcher. Die! Okay, I am acting nothing like they would have in the 90s. <clears throat> but yes, he does have a projectile launcher that is a hair trigger off the friggin' wazoo here. And I have loud music off the wazoo. Let me turn that down a little bit. So you can hear the overlord as he drones on about how skeleton worries is better than most things. So, yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> it's got nice molded detail here. I have no idea what this looks like. Do you? What could it be? <laughs> but this thing kind of looks like an axe, I guess. They call it a sword, but it's a freaking axe for crying out loud. It looks like a meat cleaver. A, it's a cyborg meat cleaver. And the missile also has some details on it. It's got s three skulls on it. Then his little pepper gun. Kind of looks like a Joker weapon, but whatever. It's got a it's got a skull on it, but it's hard to see. And the funny thing is, on the back of the box, you could see colored versions of them, of the weapons, and they didn't have the gold stuff. And they probably didn't have purple weird purple either. But he does have a little purple bone axe. Decent accessories, but a little weird looking. Now, this dude here is pretty sweet. And, uh, has, how old is this? Well, this is almost 20 years old. <laughs> and I am only 15. How did I get this? Hmm, well, my mom found it at a comic shop, so yeah. Three bones! That's dollars for any of you privets. But he's got the freaky gold eyes. Oh my god. And he's got little gold spiky shoes. And this one here, I, su I used some glue. And I got that sucker back on. And these thingies, for whatever reason, are made out of rubber. This thing has a beard. <laughs> I counted. He has like 15 skulls on him. 
excluding the weapons, and he did come with a little mini poster comic thing, which I assume if you got all the figures from Wave 1, you would be able to make a little mini comic book. Comic book. And then he's got a little cape back here, and this is the... Um... Dark Star Crystal or something? I don't know because I didn't grow up in the 90s when everything cool was out. I missed out on Skeleton Warriors. I missed out on Swamp Thing. I missed out on Batman, the animated series. I missed out on Gargoyles. I missed out on... What was the other thing? Spawn. I missed out on the five top cartoons. And Beast Wars. <laughs> Jeez, and crow, what is wrong with me? But this figure here, for being a 90s guy, is pretty sweet, and he does hold his weapons. I better, I better do that, or else somebody's gonna scold me. All right, hardly anyone comments on these things. We Decepticon does, cause he's awesome. Come on, get in there. <laughs> kind of have to wedge him. See, he looks like a psychopathic skull butcher of death now. Ah, jeez. I lost a missile into the iPad. Let me get that out. There we go. And then his gun goes in the other hand. That's how I saw him on the back of the box. So I'm going to try and get that in there. Probably would have been a better idea to put the gun in first. Oh. Went right in. That's how I display him, <laughs> holding his sword thingy and his gun. And then the missile I just set in the blaster, because it is so freaking hair trigger. And then I usually just set the axe down near his foot. And the bad thing is mine's got a loose hip. So you just put that little boohickey right down here, right there. And for all of you who don't know, this is the 100, bleh, screwed that up, 100 video special. Yay! <laughs> I've been around for 100 videos and I will do 100 more. And make sure you like, share, favorite, um, and comment on this video, or else you will die! No, I just kidding. And make sure, if you like what you see here, hit that little old subscribe button, and you will see more of me, Mascot, retro reviews, because I plan to do more. I plan to get the rest of the skeletons from Skeleton Warriors, and I'm trying to see if I can find any spawn gargoyles figures cheap. You know, cheap, cheap, cheap. But, anyway, this figure is pretty dagnab sweet, and you better get one or else I'm gonna find you and hunt you down. <laughs> no, just kidding, but for back then, this thing is just plain awesome. <laughs> it's epic, awesome, fantastic, incredible, and all those fancy words. He's got the wash. The wash wasn't introduced with Hasbro stuff until frickin' 2000? I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that this thing's getting a 10 and the other one's get a 10. All the 90s toys get a 10 because they're so awesome. Oh yeah, Ghost Rider. I missed out on those too. Dang it! But I hope you guys enjoyed the retro review in Technicolor. And, um, stay tuned for reviews for the other Skeleton Warriors, and if you don't know who they are, I'll tell you. Aracula, Dagger, Dark, Dr. Cyborg, and Shriek. And I'm trying to get Spawn and Violator and Overkill and the Clown and Medieval Spawn and... Spawn this and Spawn that and Spam. <laughs> the Spawn Spam. Too many freaking Spawns. There's a comic for you, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this little blast from the past and uh, I recommend you try some of the old figures out they're really cool so if you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you later